What is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marf Fugle News. We're going to be back with all of the stories that have just happened, including uh, the weird walls put up around the White House. We'll talk about that and much more. Uh, and oh, uh, the iCountry making videos uh, depicting taking out our last prez. Pretty crazy stuff. We'll be right back right after this. Nothing in the show should be considered legal, medical, or financial advice. The views of the callers can differ considerably and do not necessarily reflect my opinion, Dex's opinion, or anyone else who works with the show. You should always do your own research and consult with professionals. The internet is full of fake news, so please take everything with a grain of salt. If you have not already, it helps us out if you end up going through any of our affiliates, and it helps you out if you end up protecting yourself against cybercrime. NordVPN is one of the best and one of the easiest to use. If you do not have a virtual private network, it protects your IP address, which is your online identity, which actually connects to your real address and everything else. It also connects to you. If you know anything about how they are data logging and basically getting your profiles down, you can prevent that by having a VPN. Nord is, again, one of the easiest. Download it. It's like an on switch and off switch. All you have to do. Go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. Not only will you get a giant discount on this, but you will also be helping us. I appreciate your support, and I appreciate everyone that goes through any of our affiliates. I uh, can't say thank you enough. Trons. All right, what is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. If you've never been here before, just remember you can follow us over on our website, marfuglenews.com. Not only can you sign up for alerts and our email uh, list, of course, you can also see all of our sources. All of our sources will be listed for every single show. We take the time before each one to make sure that you can see exactly where your uh, news is coming from. Now, when you go there, you'll see that it is very easy to navigate. It is done by thumbnail. What is really going on? Uh, clock's running out. When you click on that, you will see that it, it brings you to all of our bibliography. Now, all of the notes, every article, video, picture, tweet, it doesn't matter what you show, uh, we show you here on the show, we end up giving you the link to it so you can get there and check our work. Now, once you hit the yellow bar, you will see uh, that there is web-only content. That is the stuff that is too hot for TV. It's too far to one direction for us to cover, uh, or it's the stuff that people are getting bonked on the head for. So again, this is, uh, again, right over there. It's a whole nother show down there. There is a ton down there today. So make sure to go there. You can uh, read it on the pot. It doesn't matter where you read it. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Just don't tell me, okay? And then... Um, and just a reminder, if you do want to support us, we are independent. All of our affiliates have a box over there. So each one of those boxes, like My Patriot Supply, EMP Shield, and NordVPN, uh, all of those boxes uh, actually directly go to our affiliate link. That way, if you click that box, you know that you are giving us credit uh, or a commission when you buy something. Not only that, you get a discount on your purchase. Uh, with almost every case, you get a huge discount and you're helping the channel at the same time. So just so you know that, uh, we really appreciate it. That is a lot of the ecosystem here and how it works. Um, Stephen McMahon, Healing Prayers for the Boys and Lexi. Thank you so much. Uh, and I know Lexi appreciates it. Diane Moses, praying for you. Not going to make it tonight, but I'll wa be watching tomorrow. Have a great night. Diane, I saw, and uh, I appreciate you uh, doing that. And I saw that, uh, I want to say, before the show or yesterday, you went over to PayPal. Thank you so much, Diane. Uh, I hope you watch the replay. This is definitely, there's some pretty crazy stuff here. Um, let's bring in Dex, and then I'll just give you a two-second update on uh, what's going on. But um, Dex, how are you doing? Dex is my co-host slash internet brother. What is happening, and, and uh, what is going on with you guys? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugle fam. You know, I um, guess I'm getting better every day. And Lexi is too, but she's still still behind me. <laughs> So your wife is a, a couple days behind you, but after taking the alternative stuff, basically two days later, you sound back to normal almost. Yeah, I, I, you know, I still have a little congestion and I get hoarse in the voice every now and then, but I feel fine. I'm feeling much better. So I'll, I'll just give a quick update. I really thank everybody that was sending prayers to my DMs. It really, like, 
everybody that sent me messages. I really, really appreciate you. I'm going through a really scary time right now, and I just, uh, I really can't say thank you enough to the people that have uh, messaged me. I, I'm, I apologize if I'm not, uh, I didn't, you know, get, get looking nice for the show or anything. I just wanted to make sure that we came out and did this. Um, I really thank everybody that has uh, sent their well wishes, sent support, sent everything, uh, especially the, some of the DMs that I got were just really amazing. Um, I Later on, I might play an audio clip. Um, even people came out of the woodwork and, uh, you know, offered to even give me rides to the hospital and things. So I went to the hospital again and it, it is BS because because of the staff shortage, they don't have the right people. And it's like I probably rang up another bill, which I'll never, uh, most likely ever, ever pay, um, because I have no insurance. You know, they they treat you differently, and and that is my opinion. I don't know if it's a fact everywhere, but here it seems like they do. Uh, but they didn't have the right person to do the right job, and then they messed up. They last time they recommended me to to go to a specialist doctor, and then when I called the specialist doctor, they sent it over as an urgent matter. And they said, well, even if it's urgent, we we can't get you in for three to four weeks as a new patient. So they emailed back and then sent messages to the hospital and, and to the care team. And then the care team just never got back to me. So they like dropped the ball and uh, found out that they just never, never even did it. But it's on record. So I don't know. I, I'm starting to think that uh, I got really screwed on that a uh, few weeks back. So, but anyways, I am... I'm uh, I'm okay for now. I'm, I've got stuff going on uh, there, but uh, and I have to go back, and basically I have to do everything through the ER. So it's really really shitty. And I appreciate each and every one of you that has uh, prayed for us and and everything else. And then of course Dex and Lexi just went through CV, and they're doing better on the alternative treatment. So thank you everybody. It's like when everything hits, it hits it all at the same time. It's like it it all happens in threes. I guess you could say that because it's Lexi, Dex, and me uh, all getting something just hit in the face. Uh, Zenwin AZ, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Diane Moses, Mean Granny, thank you for subscribing. Jay Thomas, uh, thank you for being the last one out last uh, night. All right, so um, remember, follow me over on Twitter, at Marfugal. Um, I'm going to show you a video. So the iCountry uh, ended up putting out a propaganda piece, and this is... What's crazy is I said, you know, is this like some sort of like, you know, news broadcast from the iCountry, Iran to the store? Uh, and it's not. It's actually from the Grand Supreme Leader's website, Ayatollah's uh, website. So when you look at it, it's kind of corny here because let me hold on. Let me uh, make sure that I let me make sure I put my uh, face on here. OK, so. This is a video that is on Twitter. They put it out. It's uh, the Supreme Leader Ayatollah put out this CGI video essentially showing these drones uh, circling around the pre former president's uh, house. And you see a guy wearing a red you-know-what hat and he's playing golf. You see this thing, laser-guided uh, something, tar you know, targeting the, uh, the thing. And I don't even, I'm careful, especially right now in the stuff we're about to cover, you'll see why. Um, and then it shows, which is, I mean, if this wasn't such a serious matter, it would be almost hilarious because it's this country essentially showing, uh, you'll see a shadow of basically a uh, stealth boomer, which I don't even think they have, uh, the shadow of it over the, the right here, see here? It, it shows uh, the shadow of one going right over it. So you'll see right here. I'm not going to play this sound on this because who knows where they got it. Probably got it off of some free website or something. It, I mean, the, the animation looks just crappy. Um, well, I mean, who knows? It might be very good for who did it. Well, who knows? They might have went to Fiverr for this damn thing. Uh, it looks like an old video game from like 2008. And it shows... It what was that? Did, did you see they hacked into the security camera system and then froze the frame so that they weren't seen on camera? I didn't notice that. Is that what they did? Yeah, in the beginning when the rover's going through, it spots a video camera and then he pauses and then he cyber hacks into the security system and then they freeze frame on the camera right as the rover comes in so that you can't see the rover in the camera. 
Yeah, it shows it shows them looking at the can. I, I mean, the, the thing is, is the who is putting this out? We read last week uh, that they were th- basically calling him out and saying that they wanted to take him out because T Man was the person who made the order to take out uh, Soleimani. Soleimani was in some parties a hero, a conflict hero of their country. Uh, in some circles, he was you know an absolute pos, uh, but. You know, it, as far as a lot of people, and we have seen just thousands and thousands of people chanting his name and things. So there are groups of people that did look up to him as, you know, this uh, highly regarded general type thing. Just to remind you, <clears throat> Soleimani was taken out, and the president at the time last year said that they took them out because of a massive plan, a massive plan uh, bigger than September of 2001 that was being planned and they said that they were basically stopping this massive thing from being carried out they went after Soleimani who was number one and his number two guy now they did strikes and they hit Soleimani they got him the second guy never got hit they missed on the second uh the second strike so essentially whoever was carrying on for that plan is still around um, I don't know if I, I didn't I don't I we will have to check if that same second hand guy if they took him out yet because I didn't hear anything any update saying that he was taken out I do know that he was not he was missed so what that means is that that plan might still be in play and if they are showing this you know you can laugh at it and say haha yeah like they've got a stealth bomb boomer uh, but maybe they do uh, maybe they have this technology and we do know that there's sleeper cells There are whole sleeper uh, cell buildings. I mean, they could have a manufacturing plant under their complete control. Uh, We have, I to the store, uh, residents here that own companies that do this kind of stuff. I mean, think about it. They could close it down from, you know, 8 8 p.m. closing time to morning and manufacture a drone like this. And then have it. So that that's the part. You know, you laugh at it, but at the same time, where this is coming from, uh, it, could they actually have this technology on the ground here? Yes, absolutely. Not to say that they do, but hopefully. Uh, it, and then it finally shows them uh, laser guiding this thing. Uh, you see here, laser guiding it and uh, showing him. Uh, and then it doesn't really. Sh- and then look, it, it's it shows his picture, Soleimani, and shows him like a hero, right? And it shows them striking, and and in each part it it shows basically him, and and they even send a text message to I, who Dex? Do you know who the person who got the text was? It says unknown. Yeah, it was T Man. No, they sent it to T Man. Okay, um, they sent the the message to him saying basically it was uh, you know re- revenge for Soleimani um, or Soleimani's uh, M U R D E R er, and the one who gave the order will pay the price is the message. And then they end it with a message that says some that said specifically, uh, "Revenge is definite." Basically, you're not waking up from that one. Um, so that is that's that's pretty freaky. And then this, you have to think about the timing of this, and you can always kind of you can connect dots that aren't there, or you can somewhat half connect dots that are there. We just had, uh, we'll talk about it here in a bit, but the White House just put up all these walls around it uh, and a lot of a lot of mystery around it. In fact, concrete barriers and uh, walls and things, and they're wondering what the heck this is for. Is it for this thing that's coming up in a couple of weeks uh, or in about 10 days from now, this uh, you know kind of protest type thing, or is it for something else? Um, we don't exactly know. So there's some weird stuff. We'll talk about that, but look at the timing of that. And then look at, uh, how they said that they are creating a new division for domestic, uh, events. So some pretty crazy stuff. Now, by the way, that video is linked from, uh, RT. It is on our website. If you want to watch the full CGI video that Ayatollah, the Supreme leader of the I country just released, uh, you can see that there in in its entirety. It's it's about a minute and thirty five seconds long. It won't take much time. And then we have an M one five warning over Chinese agent in Parliament. 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 It says 
M M15 MI5 uh, issued a rare warning that an alleged Chinese agent has inf infiltrated Parliament uh, to interfere in UK politics. An alert from the security service said Christine Chung Ku Lee established links for the C C P with the current and aspiring MPs. Uh, it says that she then gave do donations to politicians with funding coming from foreign nationals in China and Hong Kong. It comes after a significant long-running investigation by MI5 uh, and Whitehall sources told BBC. It says one of the MPs funded by Miss Lee was Labor's Barry's uh, Gardner, who received $420,000 from her in five years, but he said he had always made the security services aware of the donations. Liberal D mm -hmm, leader Sir Ed Davey also received a £5,000 donation when he uh, was energy secretary, but he said that the money was accepted by his local association and it was the first time he has been given uh, cause to be concerned. Home Se Secretary Priti Patel, and what's really nuts is I, I want to say I know Priti Patel from a long time ago, uh, from like kindergarten six uh, age I'm, I I don't know if this is the exact I know that's a common name in you know in Indian names uh, but I looked this up at one point and I think I know this woman and her family from when I was kids uh, weird said it was deeply concerning that someone who has knowingly engaged in political interference activities on behalf of the P has targeted parliamentarians well no way I mean they know that China China's strong suit is infiltration and covert operations that is what they are good at they are good at hacking they are good at infiltration they are good at spy games uh specifically not the physical stuff the military stuff uh they learned especially when they were weak they were very good at at doing these kind of things since 1979 uh they looked at how much they have infiltrated and how much they've hacked and how much ip and and uh, intellectual property they've taken and all of these other things and they compiled it and that is China's strong suit that's what they train their people just like we are good at, at all sorts of things with our military and our uh, CIA is is good at basically taking countries and uh, turning them upside down they're good at infiltration so mind you this is all going down this is in the UK and and people like Jem Jem or other people that are there if you have a different opinion, let me know in the comments below. I'm not in the UK, but what I do see, and I see something strange, is that the Prime Minister, Dex, do we have it in the main show or is it on uh, the, I don't even know if if we have it in this show. Yeah, I don't think we have it, but I know he got in trouble for going to a party. Well, no. if you watch the live video, and I followed a lot of this, and so... The Prime Minister, uh, Boris Johnson, Boris, uh, Boris, uh, essentially got in trouble because while well, everybody else was stuck in their homes, and I believe it was a New Year's party, was it not? It, it was a, it was recent. It was well, just, no, they're calling it a lockdown party. Yeah, um, and I don't that, know if they're doing that for sensationalism. A lockdown busting party. That's what party. they were calling it. And they said, "Bring your own booze." That's what the uh, the Prime Minister said. You know, basically the equivalent equivalent of uh, our president, and breaking the rules. Not only that, saying bring your own stuff. You know, uh, nobody was wearing cover, anything else. Um, the what gets me is he went in front of the parliament, or he went in front of the uh, the whole cabinet, and he apologized, and he's just head down and sorry. And the way that their system works, they are more. It's almost more of a show there. Uh, the one guy was like saying, oh, this pathetic man of a blah, 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 calling him names and, and saying, look at his excuse. His excuse is this and blah, blah, blah. Everybody's calling for him to resign. And I just think it's really fishy timing that all of these different things are going on at once. And I do know behind the scenes, they may, they may be told like, hey, take, you know, take the hit for this one. You resign or this event or whatever. And it's really for something bigger. I don't know what is happening right now, but it, it seems like, you know, they're going to tell us the very front story. I would look behind that and look at what holes are being filled because there's a ton of weird stuff going on right now. There, It seems to me like we're about to hit some sort of big event. And I'll, I'll show you the rest of why I think that. And I have an opinion based on 
on everything that I have analyzed and I've been watching all of the world news for now years. So things are starting to add up that shouldn't add up and that's that's not good. <sighs> and Adam, just so everybody understands, because I know a lot of people may not understand the, what happens in, in British, but MI5 and MI6, MI6 is more like their, um, their external spies. It's like their CIA, right? And they're the ones that go out and do the spying. And MI5 is the one that is trying to catch the spies. That's why this one is reporting it. Yeah. So MI6 are the cool agents. MI5s are the, the desk, desk jockeys uh, doing the defense. I don't know. I, they're probably as cool agents on in both, but it says scientists think that we have found a big weird moon in a far off star system. It says that the hunt for moons outside of our solar system has just turned up another possible uh, lunar world. A moon bigger than Earth that's orbiting a Jupiter-like planet. The planet and its moon, if it really is a moon, orbit a sun-like star that's over 5,000 light years away, according to a report in the journal Nature Astronomy. The moon is pretty alien compared to any moon in the solar system, says David Kipping, uh, an astronomer at Columbia University. It says, we're not sure if it's rocky. Uh, we're not sure if it's gaseous. It says it's kind of between the size of Neptune, which is gaseous, and the Earth, which is rocky. So this would be uh, bigger than the Earth itself, a moon that's bigger than the Earth. It says this isn't the first time astronomers have spotted something that might be a moon in another planetary system, which is sometimes called uh, an exomoon. In fact, Kipling and his colleagues announced a few years ago that they detected something like a moon orbiting a different planet that uh, the discovery has yet to be confirmed with additional telescope observations. And some astronomers are skeptical that it will hold up to more scrutiny. So this is all like, um, you know, th these are major in, in their field. These are major discoveries, right? And But, you know, I guess a lot of it goes down to does it really, um, you know, what does it mean? Does it mean like there's an opportunity for, you know, life to exist on other in these other, you know, solar systems that they're exploring here? Um, you know, I think that's part of part of it is understanding the the makeup of the planet and what, you know, might be on or in this case, a moon. But if a moon is as large as a planet, that it obviously could have something on it. Um, I guess that's part of uh, part of this outside of just understanding and mapping of everything else that they discover in space. Um, and I know plenty of those folks out there don't even uh, believe anything that they're doing is, is actually happening. So uh, but it is pretty interesting, I guess, in the sense that it is a new, a, an exomoon discovery, which is something that just doesn't happen all the time, unlike stars, which they find daily. Another thing that's going to happen is that the James Webb telescope that's going out, I, a lot of people don't know this, but the James Webb telescope that's supposed to go out and look from the sun's direction or from look from the sun looking at Earth towards out, I believe, or is it looking in the sun's direction? I believe it's the opposite, right? Either way, uh, they say that this one is some crazy amount, 10 times stronger, 100 times uh, stronger magnification as the Hubble telescope and they say that it can see so far that in theory it would be able to see back to the time of the Big Bang. A lot of people don't haven't heard that little kind of factoid there if it's true or if if everything even exists right uh, they say hypothetically that this thing is so strong that it would be able to see amount of light years back that would equal back to the the, the beginning of time in in our our basic knowledge and they say that the because now in the uh, last few years of course they have made more scientific arguments that uh, and confirmed that they believe that the universe is expanding and every day it's getting faster and faster which is I think is really weird it would make sense why a lot of us feel like time is going faster even though you know like time and I'm not talking about like as you get older time goes faster uh, even children and people that we surveyed said that time feels like it's going faster, like it's just careening and, and it just doesn't, it feels different. There's even arguments and studies about the human brain and at, if they say that the earth uh, changes off even a millisecond, if we have a big earthquake and it changes the length of the day, 
that we might be able to feel it. We wouldn't know we were feeling it, but our brains could because we have kind of an eternal clock. And when that day is off just the littlest bit, it would screw up how our brain works. Super weird stuff. Uh, time, uh, another thing about like the atomic clock, the time goes faster or slower depending on how close it is to the center of the earth. Uh, I mean, like this is just it's way above my head. I'm not that smart. But when it's you go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to say, speaking of the web, uh, go ahead and finish. I didn't mean to interrupt your last statement, but I was going to talk about the web telescope real quick. Oh, no, no. Well, okay. basically on that, that telescope, it's we're going to see a whole lot of stuff come out. And uh, we might we might have our minds blown, or this might be part of the biggest you know, cover-up ever. <laughs> so, so on that topic, here's a couple of facts about the web, the web telescope. That's because I'm kind of skeptical of it. This thing was supposed to launch in 1999, so basically it's 90s tech. Okay, it got delayed. They had optics problems with it. It was so bad in the um, in the in the NASA realm that they had to rename it to the Webb in a Telescope in 2002. It's gone from 2002 to today before it finally launched. Not today, but I think it was like what a couple weeks ago or a month ago it launched. So um, if that gives you any insight into some of the, you know, slow projects that don't really work out all that well from government uh, agencies, a 1999 original deploy date. That just something that's again, this, that even that more makes me think about what is going on. That's weird. Why are they sending it out now? Is it even the James Webb telescope? Yeah. And some have said if they use it, it, cause it's based on, it's based on the Hubble, right? It's the next version of the Hubble. Some have said if they use the Hubble as a model and use the same amount of time and just updated it and updated and updated it, we'd be on like the fourth or fifth version of it by now. We're only now getting this 1999 version of this that's renamed the Webb telescope. That's, uh, that's really crazy. Uh, I did not know that, that that had an original deploy date of nine, 1999. That's like, yeah. And it wasn't called Webb back then. So they had to rename it. That's how bad it was. <laughs> yeah. They did renamed in 2002 people to ask, ask, uh, ask questions. W where did all that money for it go back then? <clears throat> probably went into the uh the more on tear <laughs> delaware sasquatch keep prepping fugal fam uh we took n numerous uh numerous leaps towards possible cw in the near future the divide is being set oh civil conflict in the near future the divide is being set take care and stay informed well just remember your your neighbors could turn on you in a second and that's because they're being brainwashed Boris and Andrew should shell, share a cell live streamed 24 seven. Yeah. Because if they do end up in a cell, uh, they probably wouldn't be in it for too long. Taz Dare says, I will try to find a media report for you talking about Soleimani and revenge that came out at the time of his mm, DM you on Twitter. If I find it. So we covered that. Uh, just, I think, believe we did cover that. In fact, you could actually check our website for it around the time in the, the five days. If you check, there the five days after he passed i think i know which one you're talking about uh they were really pissed and they threatened back then why is it popping up again now he's not even the president anymore why are they wrapping the white house with all these walls what is really going on why did we get a just three days ago have a full ground stop of the west coast why did nk supposedly launch this thing and we stopped everything because of nk i don't know i don't think so something's weird Something is definitely off. Oh, and all of this around the time that our underwater cables, all of these different underwater cables are getting clipped and this and that. And that is what they say is part of the strategic plan as part of WW3. There have been public plans that came out like 30 years ago that showed that Russia would do that in the first steps of the conflict. And now it's happening. So lots of weird stuff. Oneidas, thank you. I appreciate that from Canada. Says all the best to you and your yours, Marv. Anitas J. Bowden. Thank you so much, Anitas. Thank you for supporting Independent. Thank you for supporting Dex and I. I appreciate that. Make sure to uh, shout out your mods and put an M in the chat for the mods. They're doing a great job as well. Keep, uh, Carol H., thank you for the uh, super sticker. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so uh, much for that. Shout out to Charity Jane and her husband, 
Cody, they're big fans of the show. Much love, fam. Hey, Charity Jane and Huzz, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you, Cody. Uh, Zen Win AZ and everybody else that has popped in. And then over on DLive, thank you. Everybody that has popped in already. Zippy Moon says 5C130s. I think that's what it says. 5C130s working in Central Park Northeast. F15s working Northern Northeast. Red flag range up there. Getting cray cray. Zippy Moon, sir, are you saying that there were five C-130s uh, in uh, Central NE and F-15s in Northern NE? Uh, New England? or I'm, I'm My brain is just totally fried. Truth Seeker, is, what would NE be? Nebraska? Is that Nebraska? Yeah, it's Nebraska. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, not New England. Uh, it's not abbreviations. Uh, anyways, uh, True Seeker, thank you, Kyle13, Zelda fan 79 Could NK be causing dead fish on the West Coast? I don't know. I don't think... Well, it w that was a one-off event unless they're dumping... Japan could be causing that with their uh, leaks. I don't know. Um, and what he is mentioning is the weird uh, deep water fish, like the weird, uh, super freaky... Uh, finding Nemo fish that's usually way, way, way 3,000 feet deep uh, washing up on the shore, multiple of them. Something is going on, whether it be the waters heating up or there was volcanic activity off the West Coast, something is going on under the water. Uh, the Outlight Josie Wales, thank you. Uh, Simo Master, thank you for following. Release the Quacken. Uh, one Ronald McDonald House is in Canada kicking out kids. Meatball, I think that was you that talked talk to me about that before. To who don't get the J.A. base. Brandon Henschel, prayers for you. The fam, Dex and his, and his fam. Hey, thanks, Brandon Henschel. I appreciate that. Um, I messaged you. I think I think you got back to me on that. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate you, and I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, I, I want to do more. I, I, um, thank you, guys. I appreciate you. And then we have U.S. Proud uh, Army Brad out. This is out of Twitter. Concrete barriers going up around the WH. But no one knows why. Can't put barriers up at the southern corner, though. Right? So there's these weird anti-climb walls, and there's multiple of them. This was the beginning, and they're putting up even more. This is freaky, guys, because what in the world is happening, and what is this in preparement for? Is this really 10 days out from... Uh, when they are doing, uh, so by the way, Dex, that pro protest that was going to happen on the 23rd, that might not even have to happen because the Supreme Court just ruled against the, uh, the forcing of everything. Right. And I don't even know that that's it. Cause that was down by the Lincoln Memorial, right? They just, some, some people were saying, well, that's the next big event that's happening. It was one of the famous doctors that was on Rogan that, you know, was saying they were gathering a lot of people, but, but you know, what's interesting to me about this image is those uh it's section not just that it's sectional but in each section there's like a piece that can be removed or placed in right is that like for defensive measures right is somebody behind potentially behind that um is that what it's designed for and then the other thing that makes me wonder is when you put this together with the um Soleimani stuff and the fact that you know look information like that you know, on one hand, you could say, ah, it's just that I country being crazy. But on the other hand, it when stuff kind of gets pumped around, a lot of that is controlled and, and or can be controlled and can be influenced, you know, by um, three letter organizations that have all sorts of control around things around the world and inside our country. So, you know, is that really the foreshadowing of something that is being planned to happen? And if it does happen, are they thinking that this wall is needed uh, for the aftermath? And the the dips in it. This reminds me of of what a you know a paintball uh, a paintball facility would look like, or the top of a castle. The reason why they have uh, those indents is so one or two people can be in it uh, and then be able to duck behind it for. Uh, to basically, you know, strafe behind it for cover. Uh, it would be, th that looks like a defensive measure. And then they're putting these removable kind of wood-looking pieces in the middle or something. Uh, this is very weird. Um, the bottom is uh, concrete, and then the top is these the other pieces, which I don't know exactly what the, uh, this looks wood, though. Like it's it's removable by a person. I mean, just look at it. It, it doesn't take 
too much to figure that out. Um, you know, what? there was no official answer for why they were doing it. But this is surrounding all of these weird events around them saying, and by the way, this very well could be, we're, we're possibly looking at in the next week or two, some sort of an event that becomes the next uh, 2001 or, or 1942 or something like this. Uh, or it could be the next and totally separate uh, the 6th of January. It could be another one of those, but much more, you know, planned out or something, right? And it will obviously do what the first one didn't do. And uh, they'll be able to pass all sorts of laws and all sorts of things. Fantastic, Freddy. On the other hand, we are still looking at February as what everyone, including analysts and experts, think uh, if Russia does go to conflict, that would be the time. I also heard that there's updates on the weather uh, that Russia could now invade. Uh, we, we saw a week ago it was, it was much too uh, muddy and the grounds were bad and they were actually looking at that and it's like it would not be a good time. They would wait a little bit until the grounds dried up for an actual ground scale you know, I- invasion. So now we're all going to just like chuckle and laugh if next week it turns out they were just surrounding the fountain because they were rebuilding it and they wanted to surprise everybody with what it looks like. Sort of like they put up the billboards around, you know, construction sites or like building something new. Or like Elon Musk went over there and gave him a brand new Tesla and they dropped the sides of the box and they're like, hey, Joe, JB, here you go with the big old bow on it. <sighs> Or they repaint the White House uh, black or red or some other color. Who knows? Yeah, but the fountain that is right there, it's like dead center. It's off. It's not been running. Or they'll, they'll so paint, I don't know. They'll paint it like a bright. It'll be like off-white house now. Who's sweating now? Get Maxwell and f- ends fight to keep John Doe names sealed. Dex, do you want to go over this real quick? Sure. Well, you know, basically what what's going to happen is if this uh, goes forward um, where they were trying to keep them sealed and they're no longer sealed. And I think Virginia, in her other case, is trying to get the information unsealed. um, It's going to mean that a whole bunch of the names that we didn't really get from the Maxwell uh, trial are going to become public and it's going to come out and and be seen in court. So um, if this, uh, you know, sort of unmasking, if you want to call it, of these names actually happens, there's going to be some new news on who these names are. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are who, whose names are probably there in there that are sweating right now, hoping that it doesn't happen. I wonder if, if something really big could come out, you know, like the Clintons or something, or maybe that's why they're putting up uh, walls around the white house. Uh, we're talking about, this is, there are a lot of things happening all at once. And we were just a few weeks away from a possible WW3 scenario. And I'm not exaggerating. That's what, I mean, that's what they're saying. Uh, it, it, the thing is, is if they actually do take Ukraine, we've shown you evidence that they would most likely do it at the same time that China takes Taiwan. China is ready. Nobody's talking about how China is mobilizing right now. Why? I don't understand it. China is getting all of their commercial fleets. They're pulling in commercial boats uh, it, g- physically go and try to get some of these commercial little ferries and things. You'll see the ferries are not doing their normal routes. And they say it's because of V and all that. Uh, everybody is uh, in certain places. They're locked in. All this stuff is going down. They turned off their flight recorder, uh, their, their uh, flight radar, uh, flight radar 24. Uh, all of the machines that helped it actually run. Uh, they not only banned the app, but they also went around and hunted down the the, the different hardware to use flight radar uh, so they would not be able to track any of their planes. China's doing that right now. Why do you think they would do that? They don't want the public. They don't want, and they especially don't want their own people watching the drills that they're doing right now. And they're loading up commercial uh, ferries. Remember, they passed a, a bill or an order, or I don't know what they call their laws, their Uh, But Xi Jinping told all companies that make these commercial ferries, uh, big cargo ships, whatever it was, they put in a a statue, I guess, I don't know what, again, I don't know what you would call it, 
they put in an order that they would have to build it to specifications that would also double as a wartime ship. If you think I'm joking, we have links and, and sources on this. On uh, Go through our previous shows. They even have a ferry, uh, multiple. I mean, I don't know how many hundreds of these boats exist. I know they have thousands of regular fishing boats that are actually mili- military militia boats. But the ferries have a, a, t- a front-loading uh, nose that lifts up and drops ships out. It actually can drop out amphibious ships or it can be a lander. It can actually, uh, one of them lands down like this as a lander. Uh, One of them, even I saw a new one. It has an extending ramp that can go like 40 or 50 feet. Uh, So they don't even have to get, because a lot of the the, the people were looking at how shallow the ground is on uh, Taiwan and in some of the places that they would actually physically have to hit after they go in with the planes, after they go into paratroopers, they would go in with the landing. They say that some of these boats can even drop and have as many as 2,000 troops on one boat, and they all just run out. Uh, So just remember that. This is all going on at the same time. This is the official saying that this could be in a couple weeks. And if they do both take that and we don't do anything, other countries are. And then if they get into a conflict, being an ally and being part of this alliance, we have to jump in too. What happened in WW2? We didn't jump in until we actually got, we basically, they, you know, people say we got dragged in. A lot of debate on why and what was really going on. But again, there's some crazy stuff going on. Dank Martin, uh, thank you for subscribing as well. Thank you, everybody that has popped in. I appreciate all of you. Over on DLive, uh, again, Lurker1, one, Vault11. One, one. Jammer, thanks for gifting out Marfia badges to Irish American Patriot. Grace, for you too. I haven't seen you in a minute. Thank you so much. Uh, we have uh, what? I Russia th- saying to get Ukraine was a distraction. Russia trying to get Ukraine was a distraction. I Russia. What? Oh, what if Russia trying to get Ukraine was a distraction? It very well could be. What if? What if they're really planning for a CW, a, a civil conflict on our own own, own land? Uh, remember, they just told us that uh, they're starting that new division for domestic uh, terrorism by us, right? All because of this event that happened last year. Been here since the beginning, Irish American Patriot. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Now you got a Marfia badge to go with it. Um, all right, and then we shouldn't have to tell you if you're watching the show, you're probably here for a, a reason or another, or if somebody shared the show with me. If you haven't seen this yet, again, I would highly recommend going over and checking this out. Uh, if you really actually want to get prepared for different things that are happening, one of the most likely, uh, according to our government and others, is an EMP strike. You can actually protect yourself against this. And again, the government and different military structures are preparing for this. Why aren't we? You can go to EMP Shield at marfuglenews.com slash EMP. And you can actually get a device uh, that protects whatever you uh, have that you want protected. They make a device for the car. They make a device for your house, for your generator, for your solar generator, for your RVs, your motorcycles. Basically anything that you want to get protected, even a ham radio they have a a version for, uh, you can get a device that will protect it against all three phases of an EMP, E1, E2, and E3. It also protects against the natural kind, the solar flares, the CMEs, uh, the Carrington level event that you've heard about that happened, uh, happens on average every 150 years and it's been 160. That you can also be prepared for. Again, go over to marfuglenews.com slash EMP and by using that, we are one of their longest running affiliates before they had all of these crazy government contracts that they have now. They've helped DHS, they've helped DOD, they've helped uh, the Demso team with the Texas grid. We've had one of the longest running uh, partnerships with them. Uh, So we get a huge $50 off discount and that stacks on top of any sale they run. So if you see a sale there, remember if you end up uh, using our link, you'll get ours plus that. Again, that's marfuglenews.com slash EMP. Thank you guys for uh, supporting us. Uh, If you do end up going to protect yourself, get a discount and help the show at the same time. And then 
Four U.S. diplomats struck by Havana syndrome in Geneva and Paris. So all around the same time now, we've, and if you don't know what Havana syndrome is, is they say that it's possibly um, some sort of exterior weapon that is using microwaves or using direct energy to screw with people. Uh, it messes with their brains. It gives them headaches. It says that at least four American diplomats in Paris and Geneva have been struck down by suspected Havana syndrome, including one who had to be airlifted back to the U.S. for treatment, uh, a report said on Thursday. By the way, if, if they could prove what this was, now they kind of have it down to where the symptoms they know. This is like, this could be a Russian. This could be a Chinese uh, agent. This could be any country, right? outside with this thing whatever we don't know what it looks like it could be a van with a magnetic thing that that goes zzz, zzz, zzz. whatever it is they can target it from outside a building from who know we don't even know the distance that this thing works they could be a mile away on a tower like a like a sniper or something getting people and it doesn't take them out it 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 basically makes them you know, it, it, it takes them out, it takes them down as far as we're human beings, we're fragile. It makes them sick, it makes gives them headaches, uh, they can't do their job properly. It says the suspected attacks left three officials stricken at diplomatic missions in Geneva and a fourth in Paris. It says the mysterious cases were first reported to U.S. officials in two European cities as well as the State Department last summer. Havana Syndrome, which is referred to by the U.S. government as anomalous, anomalous health incident is linked to a suspected radiation attack that have afflicted hundreds of American spies and diplomats around the world. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken told MSNBC on Thursday, the U.S. still doesn't know what Havana Syndrome is, and the entire federal government is working to get the bottom of the illness. So it could be a satellite thing. They could knock you out via satellite and make you sick or give you headaches or whatever. I'm not saying this. This is Basically, they don't know. So this could be a satellite weapon. I mean, we know that they can read the print on a uh, fine print on a newspaper on a on a park bench. Who's who's to say it, that it, they can't do something else? Yeah, I wonder if it's you know anything in lines with some of that bio stuff we talked about with China, right? Where they could they can um, shoot a an object that's a microscopic object into your body and then create an event headaches or they can stop yeah. you from talking or walking or anything else and they can specifically you know target anything they want and the key uh and by the way we don't know if they got treated and they're out again they could have something permanent where they can't talk isn't this crazy that they can now they could get you with like almost like a dart right but it's microscopic you wouldn't even see it and then all of a sudden uh you can't use your mouth we're talking about brain control. They've actually have uh, brain control now. Uh, these are weapons that would, if they, all of a sudden, you forget to talk. And the only person who can cure it is the person with that exact key. We would, because of how it works, unless you have their, basically like their antidote or their key uh, to the brain, you would not be able to undo it. Is that just the scariest thing ever? If they have it, we most likely have it too. And then look at Elon Musk look, working on Neuralink and all of this stuff. We probably have stuff just like it. We just haven't. We're uh, maybe maybe we're better at yeah, keeping. Yeah, I can't a imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine that they're really saying they don't know what it is because they we probably have something that does exactly what this does, right? I think the real problem is they don't know who's doing it and where it's coming from. Um, but uh, they can't publicly say they know what it is because they don't have to reveal the fact that we have this type of technology. So that's why they play this silly game that says, oh, we're doing everything we can to figure it out. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's that's um, it's it's funny how they they do their back and forths. His queen 711 says Lodi Memorial Hospital in California tried to forcibly give special sauce to my hubby's seven year old after saying no. Doc brought in a tray. In room told the child, if says yes, will be a superhero. Hubby threw tray out of room afterwards. Um, surprised they didn't like arrest him and throw him in jail and all that. Uh, by the way, they. Um, I found out we have a, a family member who was in. A, I don't know if it was jail or prison, uh, but they were offering judges when, when, uh, when this woman was in prison. 
the judge was giving women that she knew time off of their sentence giving them uh, if they had community service they would slash the hours or get rid of it if they had probation they would say you don't have to do probation anymore if they did that that one single thing think about that this this I mean this goes up incredibly high it was it just because that judge totally was like gung-ho about it or do you think that that was it, it, if that's happening all over the place saying that they will give you say you have a seven-year sentence and they're like well if you end up getting three of these we'll give you uh one year that's what they were doing that's insane cops did handcuff and take him and then the cop got pissed and went after doc good for good for him now well, we're all humans Joseph Newhouse made long video about the artificial moon. Hold fast to what you believe with clips from Hebrew scholar, Dr. Michael Heiser. Good work, Adam. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Joseph Newhouse. Thank you for uh, supporting. If you guys haven't checked out, he does uh, he does a lot of great videos. And a lot of the times he'll cover subjects that we don't go into depth here, but then he'll go in deeper and he'll add clips and he'll explain it. Or he'll go into the symbology of weird things that we've found here. Ariel, the wrestling mermaid, he's a great uh, Fugle fan member. Hope you are feeling better, Marf. Let Mike know I love him more than life itself. <laughs> Mike, Ariel, you have you, Mike, you have one of the best gals out there. She is completely dedicated to you. You are a lucky guy. And then, uh, I'm here. Almost missed you guys again. Get well, Adam and Dex. One love, Google. Fugle fam, Marfia, Blue Dalsbug, prayers for all, and Stacy Lanner. Uh, Delaware Sasquatch, thank you, and Escape from Babylon, Old Wise Owl. Toss there, thank you. I will try to find me to report for you. That is that is really cool. Thank you, guys. And then Supreme Court blocks nationwide mm, and testing mandate for large businesses allows health care mm, mm, mandate to take effect. So they did stop it for this. All those people that possibly lost their job or were forced to leave, I don't know. One thing I don't know about this, and it doesn't say anywhere, is if they can sue now. Dex, do you think, should they be able to sue? Or I guess, I'll just ask you your opinion. In, in fact, uh, if, or or would that even work like that? Supreme Court says yeah. it's not okay. So, so ultimately, like, even before this happened, there were some companies that just took that position, right? They're just like, hey, we, this is all, we want to support this mission. And so we're going to say you have to do it. Um, and then this uh, ruling or this um, executive order came out that was leveraging OSHA and then companies were forced to do it. Um, I don't know that the companies themselves are necessarily in a position where they're going to, um, the, I mean, anybody can sue anybody. I just don't know that it's really going to hold up. I think what we may see is rehiring. Um, I think, you know, there's plenty of companies out there that, you know, probably rode the middle of the line and just said, you know, I got to do what I got to do. But now that I'm, you know, nobody's going to find me $700,000, I'll, uh, you know, you can come back to work, right? Um, I'm sure there's other companies that are just going to stay on their position. And, um, you know, we've also seen other companies that just totally, you know, took the risk and said to hell with it. We're not doing that. So um, Boeing. It, it's interesting. <clears throat> they, you know, but the, what they basically said was they can't use this OSHA power, doesn't have the power to do that. Um, but they did say um, that the federal and federally funded healthcare um, employees and things that are associated with that, they do have the ability to enforce that. So that one's uh, holding for now. JB's comments after court decision on the JABS has instructed states to pick a side and begin the mandos, right? Imagine having to move to prevent being juiced, right? Um, I, I, I don't have to imagine it. I'm, I'm right there. Delaware Sasquatch can't sue because you technically volunteered. Does that statement... Um, well, if you were working and they forcefully fired you, you didn't volunteer to uh, to get fired, right? You volunteered. Maybe you didn't volunteer to do. Well, that's the thing. What if what if you chose not to do it? Your big company fired you. And then this goes through and says from the beginning, it was not constitutional. This had they had no right to do it. Wouldn't that open it up for lawsuits to those companies? 
from the beginning, I've said, well, doesn't this mean that the liability goes back to uh, the company, not them? Because the company's doing something that uh, they knew from the beginning. They said it wasn't constitutional. I mean, it, it, you didn't even need a constitutional lawyer to figure that one out. Uh, but a- either way, uh, let's do a let's do a um, let let's do a, a one or two in the chat. Do you think, it, regardless if it's even possible or if it works, do you think if they in the Supreme Court says all this, do you think that if somebody was fired forcefully? So they were working up until the day they were told to leave. Security walked them out. Uh, press one if you think they should be able to sue. Two if you think they should not be able to sue. And doesn't matter the reasoning. One if you think they should be able to sue. Two if you do not. And that's only in the case where they actually got fired, walked out of work, uh, did not quit. Wow. Wow. That is a lot of ones, 48, uh, almost 5,000 in chat. Look at that. And if, again, you can say too, don't, don't go with it. Don't, uh, just jump on the bandwagon. If, if you disagree, go with it. Well, let me ask you this. Who should they sue? Should they sue the federal government or should they sue the company? Sue the company. The company should have never went with it. Even though they in my were told opinion. by law they had to. Right. But the, by law, yeah, they would get a, well, and then the well, then the company can sue. I guess who, right? OSHA sue OSHA, or would they sue the the U.S. government? I mean, that's the thing. Couldn't they sue up from there? I mean, then they go, hey, now we're out a million dollars from this lawsuit. Then they sue them and say, you know, uh, the whole thing is a cluster. But I'm sure there are a lot of people. So this is this means that the the event on the 23rd that was protesting this, I don't even know if it will happen. Is that why they put walls around the White House? If you are late, if you came in, there are walls right now around the White House uh, that they just put up mysteriously. And I don't know, Dex, can we search during the show just to make sure that if there's any answers for this, uh, if there's any public statement about these walls, um, I'll just show you that right now again. Uh, let's see. that These are the walls. And as Dex pointed out, some of them, they have these these wood kind of pieces. This is concrete. The, the bottom is concrete. Uh, this may be concrete. Uh, I don't know what that is exactly made of. But there's these cutouts that possibly can be removed, maybe a defensive uh, mechanism. And then they have anti-climb walls uh, that are also being put up and funny enough it's inside the fence there are now walls outside so they're putting a multi-layer like they're expecting just hundreds of thousands of people to be charging at it what is about to go down that is you know what is happening why is this going on right now uh, at the same time, there was a video released by uh, iCountry. I ran to the store that puts a video of them taking out our previous president while he's golfing. It shows a whole CGI scene of what they plan to do. And they plan on using a laser targeted drone and then dropping stuff on him from the sky in revenge for him taking out one of their glorious heroes, uh, Soleimani, while he was president. Crazy stuff. And then uh, Delaware Sasquatch, uh, again, thank you. NorCal530 and Quantum Angel. Spelled a little off, trademarked. That's a cool name. Quantum Angel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. So they just to, to bring you it's up to speed. It's not covered in mainstream. The walls are not covered. I've, I've been searching and I've just searched multiple different uh, engines. I mean, there may be people you know, on the alter- alternative media covering it like us, but... Nothing in the main, so no no answers. Again, just to update, the there's about a thousand more people here than there was. The iCountry released a bizarre animated video showing former U.S. Prez DT being a taken out by a drone as he plays golf. The short video published on the website of the I Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei is in revenge for the killing of top military officer Kasim Soleimani in January. And that was right before he left. 
too. Dex, wasn't that right before he left office or was that at one year before he left? Uh, before that was in 2020. Left, yeah, was that was year. right. No, no, I think it was a it, year before. It was in January of 2020. That means it was like right before he left. That's great. It was right before he left, right before they switched power. Do you realize that? They switched power in 2021, January 2021. So it would have been a year oh. before. Is that right? In 2021. Oh, because 16 to 20, 20 to 24. But wouldn't that mean we would have? Yeah, we're only one year with uh, the current administration now. Just passed one year. So we have President B until 2025? Four years? 2024 is when the um, the event will be where you put paper in the box or stick the box on the computer screen. So it was a year before, huh? For some reason, I gosh, this whole, t this is just like time has been totally different. Uh, Zippy Moon's It'll be like the Korean conflict, wave after wave of troops take over a sheer number. Oh, yeah, get better. Hey, thank you, Zippy Moon. Sammy Lee, thanks for popping in again. It's nice to see you here tonight. And then uh, Mary Double X, thank you so much for being here. But, yeah, this is this is the, the video. I'll just play a section of this. And, and it even says... Florida, Team Ann's house, Palm Beach. Just absolute insanity here. Let's see. I'm playing golf. Isn't that just like, uh, look at that. And then spots a camera, they hack it, they remove it, access granite, so now T-Man can't see, it just keeps looping it like out of a movie. That's what makes me think it's like almost like they had a director do this, right? Then they have supposedly something in the air. How are they going to get a boomer over Florida? Or do they already have this? Uh, they're working. I country is working with Venezuela in some capacity, right? Could they actually go over there before we f detect it? Uh, do they have stealth boomers in the first place? That's what's weird about this. So, again, this video is available in full. It, it At the end, it basically shows this laser targeting it and then taking him out. And then a picture of uh, Soleimani there. Very weird. All right, and then... Uh, Air Force technician came face to face with six foot shadow. Thank you, by the way, five thousand on YouTube. Thank you, and uh, God bless everybody who just popped in. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, really do appreciate each and every one of you. Air Force technician came face to face with a six foot shadow person while guarding nukes. A shadow person? Dex, do you want to cover this? Yeah. So this guy actually, you know, he worked in a position at um, one of the nuclear. Um, sites uh, i think it was whitman air force base and his job was you know moving things around or you know a lot of times they would move some of these um nuclear things from one position to another or other locations or working on them but at one time he had seen ufos i think on multiple occasions he had seen ufos um like in you know orbs and stuff in the sky but then he also claimed that at one time when he was he'd heard a lot of noise and he ran into what he could only describe as like a shadow figure like I kind of think of what his description was. It sounded like a cloaked person, but it was basically a six foot tall person or, you know, image of a person that was uh, sort of, you know, blanked out and you really couldn't see him. It was, so he described him as a shadow person. So what they're implying is that this possibly could have been a UFO or an alien that was physically standing there. A six foot alien was standing in his, in his presence next to our nukes. Um, I'm sure there's going yeah, to be he's, people he's, that he, think, I think that he claimed at least three different events. So two UFO events and then a separate shadow person event. We're not talking about ghosts here. I don't think, right. He's not implying it's a ghost. He's possibly saying I don't, that it didn't sound like that to me. So he's saying a cloaked individual, 
possible. Well, here's the thing. There's all these rumors about UFOs and aliens uh, intervening. This is a, a real thing. Even they've mentioned it in Congress, how UFOs have been over our nuclear facilities. Uh, and by UFO, I don't mean, you know, little green men, uh, an unidentified. They don't know what it is. A flying object that goes over it is not on radar. So then you say, well, that's a UFO. It's unidentified. We can't identify it. But this is even weirder because this is saying that something was on the ground, possibly cloaked. And we do know they're working on cloaked technology. Anything that right. was sci-fi is now possibly real. So what if it was a person that walked in there, just walked right in with a, a invisibility cloak? Yeah, and he, and he said basically he heard footsteps. And all he can say, all he can describe is it was a black mass in the shape of a person standing six foot tall. That's his quote. He also said, not really a shadow, but something that was slightly blurry and did not reflect light, which that makes me think it's more of, you know, a mechanical type uh, cloaking, right? And he also said the base is obviously well guarded at all times. It's almost impossible for anyone that's unauthorized to gain access to its sensitive inner areas where he was when this happened. Oh, and you know, what's weird is people will say, oh, that's totally BS, right? Uh, the the same person will say that the military is 30 years ahead of everything that we know about, right? We know. They have they have this thing that can hide a whole tank. It makes it look like the a whole tank is just gone. It's a weird like bendy thing. But this is beyond that. Just say hypothetically for a second Bob Lazar was right and we have some sort of technology, we have this, we have that. <clears throat> or even just any of these people that say that uh they might have cloaking technology. Would they wait for somebody, an actual employee to go in and then just walk right in the gate and then wait for somebody to go in and basically just follow right behind them? Think about it. If they, if, if there was somebody and then you think cloaking technology is like Santa Claus, like this is totally fake, but they're actually working on this kind of thing. It would ha it could be a mechanical thing. It could be a projector that is so accurate that it would just have this kind of Ori wave around it. We've seen it. Uh, we have seen some really weird stuff already, and if somebody has already come up with it, then we are in a whole different time. Uh, this is It's becoming to where it's not going to be sci-fi. We are in 2022. That's what's crazy about it. You know, they all this sci-fi back in the day made, you know, the year 2020. We're actually seeing the future stuff. It just happened in so many little steps that we don't feel like we're in the future, but we really are. Oh, get this. He also described the footsteps as not being like the standard military boots that they hear all day long with their you know, comrades walking around. He said it sounded very much like bare feet walking around. Oh, that's creepy. That is just creepy. Ugh. Uh, okay. And uh, uh, again, Dex, do you want to talk about... Um, do you want to talk about, of course, uh, marfuglenews.com slash prep? Absolutely. So, guys, uh, it, you know, we talk about it all the time, being prepared, getting the things that you need, um, whether that is, uh, you know, equipment, uh, devices, water filtration, uh, and obviously some of the most important things like food and, and getting things like long-term storage foods. So if you want to learn more about the options that are available to you, head over to marfuglenews.com slash prep. You can find a whole uh, litany of of, of uh products that are available from food, from water filtration, from air filtration, uh, even things like iodine pills and um, other tools and devices and a, a whole bunch of books too. Books are one of the best things you can have for survival is having that, the knowledge written down so you can get to it in case we don't have electricity, right? So um, all of this is available to you at marfuglenews.com slash prep. Uh, right now, uh, My Patriot Supply is giving $150 off on a three month supply of food. So that's a, they've raised that discount for the Fugle fam. Um, so go take advantage of it while you can. I know we've talked a lot about these shortages and they still have supply, they're still making product. Um, so get it while you can. And they also introduced a discount on their shorter uh, four week supply. So go take a look at what's there, marfuglenews.com slash prep. Again, that that not only helps us, uh, everything is down the middle. So again, that helps Dex's family as well. That supports us as far as uh, any commission made. Again, that, that helps uh, support both of our families. So we appreciate it. 
uh, we don't even have to say it, but we've always been open and honest about any of the products that we have. We actually believe in uh, my the only re the reason I went with these is because I tasted a seven year old meal and it was amazing. Um, in fact, it was better than if, at that time. It was better than my whole week of dinners and it was a seven year old meal uh, because if you do have long term food, you at least want it to be edible. Um, again, make sure to go check that out. Thank you for everybody that helps support us. We are independent. We work for ourselves. So this is a big part of that. We don't get the traditional kind of funding that other channels. If, if there were channels our size, I love how everybody always guesses how much we make. None of them ever email and say, hey, can you send us what you make? Okay, just guess and base it off of what normal YouTubers make. I'm not doing camera reviews here. We're talking about controversial stuff. So this and other things, this makes up for it. The, all those channels always say like that for some reason, even 1% of our audience is all going to run out and grab uh, survival food or all run out and grab EMP protectors. Um, we could, we could, I don't know. I guess, I guess we could do different uh, affiliates that we didn't believe in, right? And just say, hey, get a flashlight or something that everybody needs, but um uh, Again, we appreciate those I was, of you that do. I was watching somebody, Adam, just to, on that topic. I was watching, uh, it was, uh, maybe it was the Wolf of Wall Street guy, um, Jordan. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like every two minutes he's got a promo. And it's like he doesn't even know what it is. He's just like reading it. Like it's just, it's just. You know, he's just running through it. It's not something that he's oh, necessarily. Oh, and I'm not trying to knock. No, him, no, no. But, but it, there's plenty of people out there that do that. They just run. You know, who's who's the flavor of the month? Who's the the promo of the month? And it's just like you know, and and even in the radio business, it's like that, right? A lot of times they don't even know it's sold. It's ad sell, uh, sold that they have to deal with. So yeah, we you're talking we take about our time the, and really focus you're, on. You're talking about Mad Money Mike, right? Or something like that. Um, yeah, something like that. But I think this was, uh, I, I want to say it was one of the uh, Jordan Belford uh, videos. I think he's Wolf. No, no, but I know exactly what you're talking about. When they, they yeah, he just reads off. They're open they like give them. Nissan, the greatest company. And this Christmas, they are what I will be choosing Nissan, your car company. Right. And, and like you can watch two videos and you'll get like, forever different all right you don't there's no commitment there's no obvious relationship that's been built between you know that particular creator and and the companies that they work with uh, unlike by the us, way i mean we we only work with people we know and and okay and, have, oh. and work with us okay so this isn't about uh my patriot supply i do want to I, I this isn't about that that this is about um I, i'm not gonna put i there's no name or anything so i won't but this is how this is how amazing this this is. So, um, basically, people knew that I I needed to go to the I, I was going to go to the hospital. I I just want to play just a two second. Okay, so Andrew, the part owner and part founder of VMP Shield, the, the people think that this is just like an affiliate. Uh, their whole factory has done like Christmas videos where they say thank you uh, when they basically they. Andrew personally reached out and said, Hey, I, we might have somebody that can help you. And essentially it was a guy who says, Hey, I have a young Marine who is willing to help you active Marine that would have given me a ride to the hospital. Let me just make sure. Hi, good morning. I'm calling to, uh, uh, for Adam's request for some help that he needs. Um, I have a, uh, a young Marine that can uh, drive him or help him. Um, uh, because I know he's got to go to the hospital here. I don't know how to contact you guys. And so, by the way, that was given to us, and that was a message that was given to us through Andrew. He's running a huge company, doing all that, and had the time to, to, to pass that message on. And there's some young Marine guy out there, which I still don't know who it is, who was willing to give me a ride. That kind of stuff, that gets me. And that is really why I love this. And people don't realize how attached you become to the people that you are doing this show for and I really thank you guys. You are part of my family and I talk to you more than I talk to my real family. So I thank you everybody and whoever that young Marine is, just thank you, okay? You guys are absolute, I mean like you don't know until you're there. I know some people do like Survival Living just hit 25,000. I'm sure he's already known. Um, we were there when Magic Pepper was very tiny. Magic Pepper's like oh, uh, about to hit 100,000. <clears throat> you understand 
once you start getting a bigger audience that people really do care about you and that is the best feeling in the world because when I, I you know it just it doesn't happen anymore it, it just it's a whole different kind of thing so I just want you to know like even there's companies that you do want to support like that's that's cool Andrew personally passed on a message of people wanting to help me like that's not a normal company so that's uh, Andrew from EMP Shield make sure to go check them out uh, Russia warns of Cuba Venezuela deployment if m tensions mount remember how I said so I country is is putting out this video of propaganda from uh, this drone well how would they get a drone how would they have a boomer well if there was one stationed in Venezuela they possibly could and it would have to be like Russia's boomer or something right I don't even know if they have a uh, a stealth boomer maybe they have an old one from from us who knows they might have stole it uh, maybe we left one <laughs> uh, uh, when we evacuated Afghanistan who knows it says Russia warns of Cuba Venezuela deployment if tensions mount it says a senior Russian diplomat warned on Thursday that a Russian military deployment to Cuba and Venezuela can't be excluded if tensions with the United States mount Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Rabkov. And remember, uh, missiles, or um, sorry, not even missiles, planes, or a 30 minute flight from Venezuela to Florida. Is that right, Dex? At Mach 2? Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's correct. The fast jet planes, you know, fighter jets and or uh, boomers um, would be a very short flight. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh, speaking in an interview with Russian RTVI TV broadcast, Yurabkov noted that it all depends on the action by our U.S. counterparts, noting that Russian President Vladimir uh, has warned that Russia could take military technical measures if the U.S. acts to provoke Russia and raise military pressure on it. Yurabkov said that the U.S. and NATO have rejected the key Russian demand for guarantees precluding the alliance's expansion to Ukraine and other ex-Soviet nations, adding the stark difference in approaches raises doubts about the possibility of continuing the talks. So, and again, most people, Dex, they're talking about how they're in talks of peace and or they're trying to figure this out. Everything, actions are pointing to different uh, conclusions here. Yeah, and and they're, everybody's everybody's starting to pull out all of their uh, their cards, right? And 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 starting to lay them on the table. And it's like, well, if you're coming here, or we're going there, right? We're, they're going to start poking each other. You know, if you're going into Ukraine, then we're gonna we're gonna set up shop in Cuba, and you're not going to like it. Yeah, I mean, this is. I uh, think about that. Cuba both are very close and we already know that Russia possibly has satellites and different weird radars there. Uh, we went over the satellite photos of that. That's not good. And then try, China tries to tone down war talk as military tells Taiwan to surrender now. It says the Chinese official downplayed more nationalistic war from the country's military on Wednesday after a viral video seen to be directed at Taiwan told enemy forces to put down their weapons and surrender to Beijing. Propaganda footage shared by the LA uh, 81st Group Army based in North China featured a large-scale training exercise dated January, uh, and it says uh, January 4th. It says a female narrator promised preferential treatment to any prisoners of war. It says surrender now, hand in your weapons, and you won't be. We treat prisoners well. This is China saying that. <laughs> <laughs> we treat we treat prisoners well. <laughs> okay. Blindfold you and put on, you on a train. On the ride to uh North Korea. <laughs> you get like a steak, everything, and then you get dropped off there. <laughs> uh the viral video carried by local media included Chinese official press agency Xinhua on January fifth was recorded in Mandarin Mandarin Chinese, but the phrases were also repeated in Hakka and Minin, two Chinese dialects spoken by a combined fifteen million people or sixty five percent of Taiwan's population. They're telling them this that's this is the message going out to Taiwan right now. This is telling Taiwanese citizens uh and military, if you put your thing you put your weapon down, we won't kill you. That sounds a lot like something that would happen right before they go and actually do it. think about that 
Yeah, this is certainly the psychological portion or the psyops portion of uh, their conflict, right? Uh, and, you know, the conflict has started. It's just it's not active in the sense that there's, you know, it's not hot as some people call it, right? But these types of things are all part of it. This is the psyops. Yeah, it's it's definitely there. Uh, by the way, the, the world, according to Jim, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. Salvador Garza, I appreciate you. Uh, Jideo Torres, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Tucker Carlson, thank you for subscribing. Uh, I doubt it's the real one, but thank you. Uh, NorCal530, I appreciate you. Sherry Devine, I appreciate you as well. Thank you for your support. All right, and then uh, I guess, Dex, let's talk about some of the the really crazy stuff here. We've got like Ab over the top. Yeah, absolutely. So head over to marfuglenews.com, click on the thumbnail for the show, and scroll down to web-only content and get the rest of the story. Uh, a lot of things here are either very political or two-sided, or maybe it's a too-hot-for-TV kind of topic. Um, I, we mentioned yesterday, and it's continuing today, the uh, the the new potential uh, candidate for 2024, um, and it's a woman, and you all know who she is. Um, there's a lot of conversations going on about that. Um, some new people were charged uh, with the January event. So some updates going on there um, and plenty of other uh, news topics, including um, some stuff with uh, uh, Rogan and of course, everyone's favorite doctor um, and uh, other topics around CV. So go check it out. Marfuglenews.com. Click on the thumbnail for the show. Scroll down to web only content. And those of you on YouTube, it's so easy. Just open the description click the show notes link. It's the first link right there. I mean, and there's just so much, there's uh, so much down there. It is something that is completely free and it takes time to do before every show. So and, make sure to pop over. Yeah. And Adam, somebody had commented, I forgot, somebody had commented about the McDonald's story. So that McDonald's story is on there too. So if you guys want to learn what's happening there about a family being kicked out of uh, um, their, uh, the Ronald McDonald house. There we go. Here it is. Yeah. And then, uh, by the way, yeah, there's a lot over there. I wish, um, I wish the world was in a different place right now. I also, though, I, I kind of enjoy not going into the deep, this direction or that direction. Cause I don't believe in the directions. I, I don't think we should, uh, I just see people that once you go one direction, they go far opposite. We need to stop dividing right now. Like it's dangerously close clock is running out we are run we're out of time both in the show and in everything it is 2022 there are so many things that have lined up over the last four years i hope people are buckled up as as uh, uh as uh, <laughs> uh jacob israel says you know buckle up <laughs> get ready because everything is going to get even crazier this isn't all staying in your house that whole thing that might be on the thing up now we're in a completely different time so be ready be ready for january be ready for february just keep your head up don't be afraid of anything be prepared for everything thank you uh dex for your service i do want to say a couple thank yous uh people that popped up uh diane m carol w thank you laura wells renee henschel thank you again to the henschels uh, Cheryl W, Linda M, Christina K, uh, Christy V, Bradford, th uh, Bradford C. Thank you so much for your massive support over on PayPal. I appreciate that. Na Nathaniel, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Nathaniel F, um, thank you. And a lot of people saying, uh, praying for you. If you guys find yourself here, please stop by my house. Like that's really cool. Um, and then an anonymous person who they don't want to be said, uh, they ended up helping and saying, please use funds towards the cost of diagnostic services you need. We are praying for you. We want to remain anonymous. Little brother, hey, thank you. Um, even if you want to stay anonymous, I would have liked your name just to say thank you or, or you know, on email or something. So thank you, everybody. I really appreciate everybody. Again, thank you just to everybody that has uh, been around for almost, f I mean, I don't even know what we're on. We're over three years. So thank you, Dex. Thank you so much. And I'm su super glad and happy mm -hmm. that everybody's prayers are working for you. Yeah, much love, brother. And, and we'll keep praying for you. And let's pray for your wife. And let's, uh, 
just everybody please pray for his wife to get past the whole fever s- section of this and and uh have that alternative stuff start working uh faster and faster all right you guys yes thank you very much adam it is time for the shout row it's not an outro it's not a shout out it's a shout row <laughs> Charles Henderson, thank you, Jay Heflin, thank you, Rob Stewart, thank you, Brett Hines, the Red Pill, Scrappylicious, Scott from OZ, James Fox, thank you. Nothing's gonna bring you down when you bow down to his crown. Everybody wants to get down to hell. Everybody. 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 Okay.
simply pony. Charles Henderson is in when AZ. Thank you all for showing and Geo Huff. I wish I could get my breath to the huff. The <laughs> little on the go sees. Zippy Moons, release the Quacken. Jay Girl.